Kahuna. <laughs> Our local group has been getting more and more into drone racing and we've had three or four events and the biggest problem we always have is setting up your frequencies. Now usually what happens is we break up into groups of three and we have everybody set their set their video receivers the first round and the first round goes kind of slow. The second round is a lot faster because people are already ready to fly. They just put their quad down, take off. Anyway, so these are from Multi-GP and these are pilot cards and if I can get my finger out of the way so you can see. Uh, what these are is they want you to take these cars and give one of these to each of your pilots. In this case, there's uh, five of them on here. And so you give one of these to each of your pilots. And if you have 10 pilots, you give them all, you know, just, just keep going through the list over and over. And so you would know that like, if you're a pilot E, you can't fly with any other pilot E's because you're on the same frequency. And you'd put these onto a lanyard and hang it from your neck so that way people can see it and, you know, you can show other people too, I guess. Ah, but anyway, if you notice on these, these, uh, this one here, this says Immersion RC, uh, Band F, and uh, this one says Band F, and this one says Band F, and Band F means it's, it's compatible with your Fast Shark goggles. Now this one says it's Boss Cam uh, Band E, and also the one up here at the very beginning is also Boss Cam uh, Band E. So if you wanted to run, if you wanted to fly five flyers at one time or five pilots at one time, you can't if everybody has Fast Shark. You have to have Boss Cam stuff. Well, if you have a pair of Attitude goggles that look like these, well, you're not going to be able to swap out this receiver to get Fast Shark or Boss Cam channels into the, into it. Same thing if you have teleporters or uh, predators. And most people starting into the hobby aren't going to go out and buy a $500 pair of Dominators uh, HDs and are going to spend $400 or what is it, $300 on the V threes they're gonna end up with something like this now this doesn't have those frequencies like I was saying so what do you do instead well you instead of buying the $500 goggles you can buy something like this this is the RC 832 uh, 32 channel receiver now the nice thing about this is that, is that it has 32 channels it has a video output cable that can plug into the uh, dominator goggles and you can receive those channels inside here it comes with you know the receiver not a big deal but it also comes with um, a video cable now this isn't one you can use with the fast shark goggles because it has RCA jacks on the other end but uh, you have to get another one another cable that actually looks like this on both ends if you got that then you can plug it into your goggles and into your uh, receiver and it should work just fine now it also comes with a power cable and you want to run your uh, RC832 off of a two cell battery and you, most two cells, well not most, but a lot of two cells come with JST adapters so if you got a JST adapter on your two cell you're ready to go because that's the power plug that plugs into the receiver and your battery. It also comes with, <laughs> with this junky rubber duck antenna. I don't know why they even give these away anymore. I got about a dozen of them sitting in different boxes. Anyway, if you want to start flying more people in your races, like more than just three, you're going to have to start getting people onto other channels. And one way to do that is, like I said, use these RC832s. And you can you could buy one of these and you could even let other people use it. And all they have to do if they're at your race is just unplug out of your goggles, plug into their goggles, and they're ready to go. And the nice thing, like I said, is that this is very portable. And, you, and what I would do and what I'm planning to do is to tape this up to a tripod so that it just sits in one place and I also have a chair that sits right near it so that I can use it. Anyway, I don't have any footage of this actually in action, but I do have one on my uh, Quantum V2s. And this has actually been a very good transmitter. The They say there's no blue screen and what it does is it actually just goes to like a fuzz, but it usually comes back pretty quick. And these are, these are more than usable. If you're doing races, these are gonna work really well. Uh, I do have a, uh, I do lose a signal occasionally when I fly through trees, but I don't know if that's the fault of this or the fault of the trees themselves. Anyway, they work, they work well on here, and they fit, they fit in that little, in the uh, little holder here. Although they're a little bit um, tight in there, but it does fit. And I have a two-cell battery on this side that powers it. Anyway, I got a, I got a video review on these if you want to watch it. So here are the supported frequencies on the receiver, and you'll notice it has the, the four different frequencies and. Uh, eight different channels on each one and those are the F, E, A, and B channels. So here's the uh, um, the RC832 receiver powered on and what you do you hit the frequency button and it changes between the different 
frequencies. In this case, uh, frequency four is actually Fat Shark or Immersion RC channels, and channel three is the Boss Cam E channels. Now, the nice thing about E, those are the channels that we were talking about a little bit ago where um, they have very low on the frequency range and very high. So you can hit the channel button uh, right here, and it just changes down through the different channels. And I'm not really exactly sure which ones were the channels for the that they were recommending on multi GP but you can look on here and find them and then set your channel correctly then you'd have to set it up on your on your transmitter as well but most like I said most transmitters are 32 channels so it shouldn't be that big of a deal anyway I was just trying to give you an idea on how you can run uh, more people inside your heaps at your races and that's with something like this this is the cheapest one I've been able to find and Actually, I've had pretty good luck with it. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.